Entrepreneur Part of Space Launch with William Shatner Dies in Plane Crash Medical research software mogul Glenn DeVries, who flew to space last month with actor William Shatner, aboard a rocket ship operated by Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, died in a small plane crash in New Jersey, state police said on Friday. The plane crashed on Thursday in Sussex County, New Jersey, as just northwest of New York City. Police said, adding that DeVries, 49, and another man aboard the aircraft, Thomas Fisher, 54, were killed. The aircraft, a single-engine Cessna 172, went down in a wooded area of a state park near Lake Emma, New Jersey, about 40 minutes before sunset, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, which is investigating the crash. No other official details surrounding the circumstances of the accident were immediately available. Such a tragic loss, warm and full of life. Glenn made us laugh and lit up the room. He was a visionary and an innovator, a true leader. Bezos, Blue Origins founder and executive chairman of online retail giant Amazon.com, said on Twitter, adding he was heartbroken. Devi Rise, an instrument-rated private pilot and founder of the clinical research company Metadata Solutions, soared to space last month in a suborbital joyride aboard the New Shepard rocket ship of Astro Tourism Venture Blue Origin, riding along with three other civilian crew members. The most notable of the four New Shepard passengers was Shatner, the 90-year-old actor best known for his role as Captain James T. Kirk on the original 1960s television show Star Trek. The October 13 launch made Shatner the oldest person ever to fly into space. The two other crewmates for that flight were former NASA engineer Chris Boshuizen and Blue Origin Vice President Audrey Powers. Metadata Solutions, formed by DeVry's in 1999, ranks as the world's most used clinical research platform. According to a career profile of DeV Rise that Blue Origin posted when he was chosen as one of the four New Shepard passengers, he was vice chair of life sciences and healthcare at the French software company Dassault Systems, which acquired metadata in 2019. He also served as a trustee of Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. 